and Dan here and welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are inside another custom map and this one is called... Oh no, I've forgotten. It's called Weekend at Hartsville. Now this is apparently a Valentine's Day based map but it sounds really cool so I thought I'd play it today because I've only just found it. It's a very story based kind of map which sounds really cool. I think it was made by this guy right here with the beautiful wolfy face. So let's get into it. Here we go. Grandma! <laughs> Hey, Grandma, I'm feeling tired. This trip is so long. Grandma, this is boring. Uh, maybe I'll just nap a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's nap. Let's nap. Why are we in the sky? Grandma, where are you taking? Oh, jeez. Uh, man, did I sleep through the car ride? Dear, are you awake? Grandma? I don't see you. Grandma, what's going on, Grandma? Let's see what happens. Um, yes? G g Grandma, what's going on? Get dressed and come downstairs. I made your favorite cookies for breakfast. Yes! Cookies! Cookies! Coming! Okay, uh, go to the closet and get your clothes, then go downstairs. Your eyes are groggy from the long sleep, perhaps. Some milk will help. Maybe. I, I look pretty dressed right now, but, um, let's see what we've got to put on. We've got, um, jeans and t-shirt, um... I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna put these on. I look fabulous. Yeah, that- that doesn't look too bad. It kind of matches my hair and stuff. And- Oh, we've got shoes as well. Don't forget the shoes. I did again with those black- No, I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> so, uh, we need some milk as well. Uh, milk and cookies go very well together. Um, where's the kitchen? What's in here? Hello? Oh, no, we're in Grandma's room. Nope, that's bad. Okay, Grandma! Grandma, I'm feeling a little bit tired and groggy. Oh, Grandma, sup? I need some milk, please. Hello. Uh, here you go, dear. I know you love my milk and cookies. I certainly do. Thanks, Grandma. You the best. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna munch on this. There we go. Much better. Man, that hit the spot. So, um, how are you liking this new house? Huh, Grandma? How are you liking the new house? Um, why? It's wonderful and the neighbors are so nice. They sure are. So why did you want me to come over at such an odd time of the year? What time of the year is it? Uh, well, you see, this town is quite fond of Valentine's Day. Ah, it's February. Just gone February. Uh, each year they have a big parade and celebrate. I wonder why they would be so fixated on Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm not sure either. Perhaps you could play with the neighbors and find out why. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Okay, where do you think they are? Um, some of them go to the playground at this time of day. Okay, Grandma, I will see you later. Bye, dear. Have a fun time. Oh, I certainly will. Tip, go ahead and explore the town. Many places will be closed off, so there isn't much to see. Then head to the playground to see what is happening. Um, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is a toilet. It's, it's a toilet. I don't need to go there. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this cookie, Grandma. Don't you worry. I will be back very, very soon. This is kind of cool. I like all the dialogue and stuff. That's really clever. Right, um... Okay, this kind of reminds me of that other map that we played. What map was it called? The Valley. It kind of looks like a bigger version of that. But, um, looks like we've got Ron's something over there. We've got a house here that's got a big love heart on it. Um, let's go and see what this sign says, actually. This says, Command Center, do not enter. Okay, I, I won't enter that. Right, let's see if we can find the park, shall we? Oh, 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 I think I found it. Look! <laughs> Look at these guys. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Community playground. Hey, fellas. What are you doing? Are you- you're breakdancing, aren't you? You're, you're testing out a new routine. <laughs> Looking good, kid. Is that your name? Is this- is this name? Yep, yeah, they're all cool, kid. Awesome. Right, who are you? Hello. How are you doing? Hello. My name is Dan TDM. What's yours? Question mark says nothing. Um, oh, you're talking to me? Yes, I am. Uh, my name is Melissa. Did you see that house at the end of the street? That's my parents' house. Cool, I'm staying at my grandma's house. It's the blue one next to yours. Well, nice chat. See you later. Um, what? <laughs> no, wait, <laughs> that was a quick conversation. Do you know any cool things to do around the town? Um, it depends on what you think is fun. Um, rockets, hamburgers, and tiny villagers. They're pretty cool. Or a mix of the two or three would be awesome. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but could you give me a quick tour? Fine, if that's what you really want. Wow, she's aggressive. Um, okay, we're gonna follow this lady right here. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, right, see you later, kids. Keep practicing that dance routine, right? Um, she's walking very, very strangely. Are you a robot? You're a robot, aren't you? She's a robot, guys. <laughs> but seriously, this is really, really cool. I love this. 
There's like no mods involved whatsoever, and it's just really cool how you can get like this. Like, this is the local market runs. If you ever need groceries, this is the only place to go. She seems very enthusiastic. Okay, <laughs> let's keep on going. So Ron's is a grocery store. Let's keep that in mind just in case we need something else like more milk. You might need a, a, a refill, but um, Grandma's Cookies, you could only get from Grandma. Right, here's the ice cream score. Score? Store. <laughs> Jim Sachs Gelato. Is that what that says? Gelato. Yeah, I think so. That is if you're into that stuff. Um, Ice cream? Yes, how can you not be into ice cream? Yeah, look, I'm never too old for ice cream, you little punk. <laughs> or cookies. You, you want a cookie? No, she doesn't want a cookie, guys. She doesn't want one at all. And this is my parents' house, the Love Goods. They hold most of the parties in the suburb. Awesome. It's a very nice house. Maybe they're hosting a Valentine's Day party. Maybe they are. That's a pretty big house. Not gonna lie, you are very privileged. Nice house. Very nice indeed. Or... They're just very skilled builders. They might just be skilled builders. Oh, careful there. You almost bashed into the lamppost. Um, this, as you know, is your grandma's house. Yep, I, I've kind of been here. She, ah, she's got a garage, but she's got no, um, got no car. We'll have to get grandma a car soon. Um, yeah, that is my grandma's indeed. Right, where are you going? Where are you off to? To this house. Yeah, I want to know about this house. It's kind of like a lighthouse, but with a love heart in it. Here is the Valentine's house. Don't be surprised if you see a dweeb staring out the window. Really? There's no one there at the minute, but um, I want to meet this dweeb. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. What? Perhaps she seems to have more of a story to tell. Maybe. I'm not too sure, though. She seems a little bit mean. You, you don't call people dweebs. That's a, that's a little bit upsetting for people. Um, and this is the Westons house. They pretty much run the security around here. To be honest, security's looking pretty good. There's a big iron bar up there. Um, there's an interesting colour scheme. Uh, yellow. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what are you gonna do next? Where are you going? Um, anyways, so that concludes the tour. You know what? For someone who wasn't interested, you're actually pretty good at being a tour guide. Uh, thanks! Uh, Melissa, time for dinner, says Mrs. Lovegood, so I'm guessing she's shouting all the way from over there. Your mum has a loud voice. A very loud voice. Uh, coming! Uh, time for dinner. Oh, that's Grandma! Grandma! I better head in too. Uh, coming! <laughs> Grandma! Grandma, you have, a, you have a really loud voice as well. I wonder what she's cooking. She only just gave me this cookie and I haven't eaten it yet. So I should probably just save that for later. Uh, Grandma, what do you go? Oh, what's happening? Uh, Grandma, what did you do? What did you do the next day? Oh, February 12th, 2016. I wonder what will happen today. I'll go downstairs. Um, do I do I still need to? No, I'm going to wear the same. You know what? I'm going to change clothes because that's a little bit, it's a little bit rough. So I'm going to... Change my clothes real quick. There we go. Add it again with it. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But Grandma is going to be added again with a cookie. So I think... Oh! Hello? Oh, I guess they're up. Who are you? Person. Grandma. Okay, I thought that was your name for a sec, but I'm guessing you're just a random person. Who are you? Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, strange being. It's Mrs. Valentine. Nice to meet you. Okay. Ah, nice to meet you. Why are you here this early? She usually comes over to help me bake cookies and other goodies. Okay. If you bake cookies, then that's all good with me. You're a friend to us. Isn't that right, guys? Uh, yes, we are just finished putting a batch in the oven and we're planning to head to the store to get some more dough. Okay. So is there anything interesting happening today? We're two days away from Valentine's Day. Uh, my husband and I are putting on some Valentine's Day decorations if you want to help out. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Great, come by our place around noon. Well, we better get going. Have fun while we're gone. See you soon. Okay, right, so um, maybe I'll head over to the fishing docks I noticed yesterday. Maybe I can get a good catch. I remember when Gramps would take me on fishing trips. Man, I miss him. Oh, that's so sad. Get a fishing rod from the garage and go to the docks. Okay, so the garage is definitely this way because we've seen that earlier. Grab the fishing rod and... Oh, no! This belonged to Grandpa. That's so sweet. Oh, my goodness. That's real. That, the feels. The feels. Right, let's head to the docks now. You know what? Melissa gave us a tour and she didn't actually tell us where the docks are. So I'm guessing they're right here. Are these the docks? I want to catch me a nice juicy fish. Uh... Hello, what, what do I need to do? Maybe let's just try catching a fish and see what happens. Maybe we'll catch something real interesting. So, come on, Grandad, to us these skills. We should be able to do it. Come on, fish. Come on, maybe I'll catch a whale. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here it comes, here it comes. 
Kia! What did I get? I got a fish. Oh, wait, wait a second. Uh, okay. Uh, it seems I have caught a book from the river. Luckily, it was in a plastic bag, so the paper isn't too weathered. Maybe I'll read it a little. Okay, let's read this. It says, wet journal. February 13th, 2015. So last year, all of the plan is set in place. I'll leave tomorrow night. February 14th last year at 7.30 p.m. On my way out, I was spotted and forced to abandon the plan. I buried the supplies under the hedge near the escape route. Hopefully, I will succeed next year. So someone's planning something creepy on Valentine's Day, and they're going to try it again this year. So I wonder what's going on. Um, oh my gosh, this sounds like someone is planning to be running away. Who could be running away and why on February the 14th? If I can find out where they planned on escaping, perhaps I can intercept them this year. For now, I'll head to the Valentine's house and help with the decorations. Let's go. Go to the red house. We know the big one. This one right here. This map is really, really cool. It's very text heavy, which I hope you guys don't mind, but it's actually really, really fun. Okay. Oh, oh, Traoris, is that you? Traoris, is that you, buddy? No, it's Mr. Valentine. Welcome. We were just getting ready to start. Awesome. What are we going to do? How's it going? I saw you were fishing earlier. You catch anything? Uh, yeah, I kind of did. Uh, nope, just junk. We lied. <laughs> okay, well, better luck next time. Anyway, me and the missus are going to work on our Valentine's Day float. We also need to hang these decorations. Hey, Lily, would you be able to help out with the decorations? Coming. Who's that? Oh, jeez, oh, she ran down the stairs. Did you fall? Did you actually fall? Oh, hey, how are you doing? You are looking... Your arms look pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. Why do we have to hang them every year? She seems rather frustrated. Oh, who's this? Um, hello, Lily, this is our neighbor's grandchild, Dan TDM. They wanted to help up put the decorations. Nope, they wanted to help put up the decorations. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, that should make things much easier. You can hang them up and I can show you where to put them. Awesome, wonderful. You can get started on the decorations and we'll get started on the float. Okay, see you later. Take the decorations and head outside. Um, where are they in here? Oh, jeez. Um, do I need to take all of these? How many do I need? How many banners are we putting up here? Huh? We need to head outside. Where do I put these? Uh, okay, so we need one of the banners on each lamppost like this one. Oh, man, you're going to make me do all this? It's so mean, Lily. That's so mean. Okay, uh, so it needs to go the top on the irons. Let's go. Huh? There we go. Huh? There we go. And I I'll be back when I'm done because this is going to take ages. Okay, the final one is going up here. There we go. Nice. Great. That was quick. Now we need to put a red cone on each of the street edges just like this one. Really? Really? That's going to take so long, but I don't have any of these. Where do I get those from? Uh, we need to put a red cone on each of the things. Maybe they're in here? Or here? Ah, oh, they're in here. Oh, jeez, there's so many! Oh my goodness, right guys, I'll be back in a sec. And it's also turned to nighttime, which is pretty worrying. I'm hoping this parade is gonna be absolutely awesome. <laughs> four to go, one, two, three, and four. Nicely lit up. It's actually looking really, really cool. So, um, nice. That should be it. Now look at the time. We still have a while before parents will be done. Wanna check out my secret base? Secret base, huh? Um, okay, I guess please don't kidnap me. Um, she's really blushing now, but my face feels warm as well. Am I blushing? Oh no! Are we getting a girlfriend? Oh my goodness, right, go upstairs. Is your secret base upstairs? I thought it was gonna be like in a basement or something. Open or close the attic ladder. Okay, I'm here. Uh, this is the secret trap door. Go ahead and push the button. This- this better be awesome. This is gonna be much- is this- is this gonna be cool? Here we go. Oh! Yeah, that's a lot cooler than any secret base I used to have. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. It certainly was. I know, right? Go ahead and go up. Go up, then click next. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. This is really cool. I like this. Uh, this is the secret library. We have tons of good books to read, and you can sit in the armchair and look out the window while you read. You certainly can. Where are you? Oh, let me jump. Let me jump. Why are you, why are you sneaking up on me? I do like to read from time to time. I'll have to see what you have later. Over here is the spiral staircase. Up to my lookout tower. Go on up. Okay, um, I want to look out here first, because this... That looks really cool with all the banners and stuff we put up. That looks very nice indeed. Right, she also has a spiral staircase. Oh, it's the tower with the heart-shaped roof thing. Heart-shaped glass. Very nice indeed. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's even better. 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so you're gonna follow us up. Wow, this has an even better view and a really cool layout. There you are, man. You keep on making me jump. Oh, man, you're so scary. Yeah, I use this for reading my favorite books and as a bedroom. Uh, why does the fact that it's her room make me feel unsettled? I think we're both nervous now. Awkward silence. <laughs> Oh no, I think, um, I, I don't really know what's going- Oh wait, can we go up here? Um, we're back! Are you guys here? Oh jeez, the parents are back. Um, this is- this is slightly awkward. Um, yes mum, we're on our way downstairs! Uh, to you. Come on, let's go. Uh, go downstairs. <laughs> nice little tip there. Just go downstairs like nothing was happening. She doesn't have a secret base. Her parents don't need to know about the secret base. Let's just close the door behind us and head down here as well. Here we go. Uh, do we need to close this or... I'm just gonna leave it there because she didn't tell me to. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Um, did you have fun? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Will you stop that? That's that's really freaking me out now. <laughs> did you have fun? We certainly did. It was great. We finished a little early and I got to see the upstairs library. Ah, yes, I've read a lot of good books up there. Oh, they, they know about the secret base. Um, anyways, we'll see you at the parade. I can't wait to see what we built. I can't wait either. See you tomorrow. Okay, the day before Valentine's Day. Hello, plants. How are you doing? Someone must be at the door. Okay. Coming! Uh, who rang the doorbell? I didn't hear a doorbell, but, um, hello? Hello, mailman. Hey! Do you know someone called Craig at the post office? I hope you do. I really hope you do. <laughs> hey there, I'm the mailman. I have a letter for you. Thanks! I guess. Get out of here. See you around, kid. Close the door. Bye. See, see you later, buddy. <laughs> what could this be? Read the letter, then click next. Letter. Um, dear Dan TM, we are pleased to invite you to dinner this evening. We'll be dining around 6.30 p.m. Who sent that though? It doesn't- it doesn't have a from on it, so I don't know who it's from. Looks like an invitation. I must go. Where is grandma? Grandma? Oh no. This- 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 this, this might be- this might be bad. Grandma? I really hope she's okay. Um, I have gone out to town to pick up a few extra things for Valentine's Day. I won't be back until 8pm. Have fun, dear. P.S. Could you pick up the cake I ordered at Ron's? Um, yes, I guess I could do that. Well, I guess I have to go by myself. That'd be awkward. In the meantime, I think I'll head over to the ice cream shop and then pick up the cake. Let's go. Right, let's go and get some ice cream. Day before Valentine's Day, we're ready for some ice cream antics. Hello! How are you doing? Oh my goodness, they have so many. Look at these. Uh, welcome to Jim Sachs Gelato. What would you like? Hmm, let me see. I'll have a blueberry popsicle, please, sir. Here you go. Have a nice day. Awesome. Okay. I didn't pay for it, but that's good. I'll uh, go to the back of Ron's in the freezer section. There should be a cake there. Take it to the cash register, then drop it on the conveyor belt. This ice cream looks amazing. Yes. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. Right. Let's go and grab the cake that we need. Oh! That is awesome! <laughs> Automatic doors, that was crazy. Okay, we need to go to the freezer. Did they close again? That's magic. That's absolute wizardry. Uh, freezer, freezer, freezer. I need a cake, please. Uh, where did it say? Uh, there should be a cake in the back. Uh, there's no cake on here. Is there any more freezers around here? I think, yeah, there's some more here. Um, no cakes though. No cakes at all. Where's the- where's the cake? Ron, did you eat the cake? Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it. Give me that cake right now. There we go. Um, I should probably close all these because that's a little bit rude. I don't want to, I don't want to thaw out all the freezers. It'll cause a flood. That'd be terrible. Right. I'm guessing it's going to be this guy. Are you Ron? Oh, you're a cashier. Okay. Um, I need to pay for this, please. Excuse me. I need to pay. I need to pay for this. How do I pay for this? Cashier? I want to pay for this cake. Ah, drop it on the conveyor belt. So I need to put it here, maybe? Drop items here. Wow! <laughs> that is awesome! Oh my goodness! Uh, the cake is already paid for. Thanks for shopping at Ron's. Come again soon. You know what? That was so cool. I love this. Right, open sesame! There we go. Right, where do we need to go now? Uh, next. Well, it seems to be nearing the time. I should drop the cake off, then head over there. Okay, so I need to drop the cake off at... Where do I need to drop it off? I've completely forgotten. A grandma's, I'm guessing? Do I need to put it here? Yeah, that looks good. Go to the Love Goods house. Okay, oh, it's night time, right. It's the day before Valentine's Day, so I need to find out who's planning to run away. Hey, guys! How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Uh, are you gonna talk to me, or th this is slightly awkward? This is really awkward. Who actually... Oh, the Love Goods are over here! Ah, I got confused. That's the Valentine's house. No wonder they were looking at me weird. They're like, 
Why are you here? <laughs> oh, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome, come on in. We were just setting up the table. Awesome, okay. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, oh, it's nothing really. We just wanted to have you over for dinner since you are new around here. How is it going? I don't think we've been properly introduced. I don't think so. My name is Dan TDM. I know, a little bit of a weird name, but you'll get used to it. Mine's Charles, but you can call me Chuck. Okay, okay, Chuck, that's a little bit random. Anyways, the food is ready. Let's eat. I can't wait. I'm starving. Okay, don't seem too eager. We still have this lollipop if it's not very good. Um, okay, so how are you liking it here? Um, you know what, Mr. Lovegood? It's actually pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it actually said pretty cool. Oh, that's weird. I helped out the Valentines with hanging the decorations. Ah, yes, I remember when Melissa used to help out over there too. Well, it's not like that task is hard anyways. Oh my goodness, Melissa, you are so sassy. I can't quite see you past that uh, little plant. But um, yeah, stop being sassy. Why don't you hang out with their daughter anymore? You used to be such good friends. Uh, I'm too old for child's play. Okay, okay, chill out. Chill out. All you do is hang out around the park anyways. It's not like you're busy. Gosh, mom, do you always have to be so nosy? Oh, no. That was that's awkward. Uh, don't mind her. She's just going through her rebellious years. Oh my goodness, how awkward! She's made a big family argument at the dinner table. If I do recall, you went through one yourself, dear. Uh, ah, yes, I do recall something of that sort. <laughs> Why is he calling out his wife for? That's so mean. <laughs> Well, I think I'm finished. I'll go see what's up with Melissa. Go upstairs to meet Melissa. Well, I didn't really eat everything, but um, stop looking at me. Stop judging me. I'm out of here. Melissa? Uh, where is she? In the bedroom, I'm guessing. Melissa? Are you in here? No, nope, that's the bathroom. That would be slightly awkward. Uh, Melissa? Oh, there you are. You're okay. What's up? Did I say you could come in? <laughs> Don't be so mean. Why is she so sassy? Oh, I'll just leave then. Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. I had a question for you. Uh, go for it, says Melissa. Um, when I was fishing earlier, I found an old journal. I was wondering if you happen to know who it may belong to. I think it might be her. I think it might be her. Um, not sure who that would belong to. Could be years old. That's true. Her answer seems strange. She must know something about it. I'll find out later. So, what are you doing for the Valentine's Day Parade? I'm supposed to man the fireworks machines, as always. That is a very cool job. That sounds cool. Oh, shoot, it's 8.30 p.m. I'm gonna head back to my home. See you later. Goodbye. Can I jump off of here? Can I jump? Should I do that? No, I shouldn't do that. Right, let's go back in and be safe. Thanks for dinner. Continue crying in your bedroom because you're a spoiled little child. Oh, that was mean. That was mean. I'm sorry, Melissa. You're not too spoiled. You are in charge of the rocket. No, not the rockets. I did mention rockets earlier, but the fireworks machine she is um, in charge of. So I need to stay friends with her because that could be quite cool. Hey, Grandma. Welcome back. Did you have a good time? Uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> quite interesting and awkward, I guess. Okay, well, you should head to bed now. We have a big day tomorrow. Okay, good night, Grandma. Good night, um. Today is the day. It's Valentine's Day. Did I sleep in until noon? Wow, I did. Well, I guess I should go outside and see what's up. Go outside and meet anyone who's there. Anyone out there? Doesn't look like it. This is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit. Are you okay, Grandma? <laughs> Grandma's gone cray. Are you okay, Grandma? Grandma, speak to me. Speak to me, Grandma. Give me cookies or something. Okay, maybe not. Um, You just carry on dancing there. That'll be fine. Right, anyone out here? There's someone who dug all these holes. <gasps> Are these the firework machines? Oh, man, that's going to be awesome. Right, hey, Mr. Weston. Good afternoon. What is up? Um, oh, hey there, sport. I was just going over some of the safety procedures and checking the supplies. Oh, we haven't met him yet. He's the security guy. Hey, are you familiar with the layout of the town? Uh, you betcha, sport. I know all of the blueprints and locations in the suburb. Heck, I help install all of the security gates. That's cool, but do you happen to know of any breaches in the gate which coincide with Valentine's Day? Uh, that's a strange question to ask, kid. Why ask? Uh, I'm just concerned for the security of the community, I guess. <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. Uh, there's only one place I can think of, and that is... I'm not being suspicious whatsoever, huh? <laughs> being real sneaky here. The Valentines open up their secret gate near their place to get their float through each year. They leave it open so they can take it back out. That's it. What's it? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just curious. <laughs> Anyways, see you later. Bye, I guess. I think I've creeped him out. Okay, so I think I'm onto something. Once the parade starts, I need to go to that gate. Later that day. Oh, man. I'm so proud to celebrate the anniversary of the suburb's creation on this blessed Valentine's Day. Definitely. Definitely. I can't move. I'm stuck on this block. Oh, jeez. Talking to Mr. Lovegood. Um, there's Melissa. But where is Lily? It can't be her. C 
Could it? Could it let the Valentine's Day fireworks commence? Whoa! Oh man, they look amazing! Whoa, that looks so cool! <laughs> That's really cool! Look at everyone enjoying it, including whoever that is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're freaking me out! You're freaking me out! Where are you going? You leave my grandma alone! Oh, you are... Oh, something's happening. Are you okay? I don't think they're okay. <laughs> what happened? Um, I can't move. I can't move at all. Are, are these gonna last long? I, I've kind of got somewhere to be. Where did that villager go as well? That villager is freaking me out. Oh! I didn't even notice! Look at this! The floats are here! Oh, man! This is impressive! Remember, there's no mods in this whatsoever. It's really, really cool. I love it. Mr. Valentine, you are looking beautiful in your Valentine's Day float. Very cool indeed. Oh, he fell! Uh, what the? Where'd Melissa go? I gotta check the opening. Wait, what? What is going on? Oh, jeez, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Go through the opening next to the Valentine's house. Did he just disappear? Uh, Mr. Valentine, are you okay, buddy? Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, this is the Valentine's house, right? I think so. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, I need to go. Oh! What are you doing? Cashier, what are you doing? You suspicious human, why are you looking through here? Oh, this- I don't know what's going on. Is this the one I was supposed- I can't remember which one's the Valentine's house. Mr. Weston? What's going on? I'll give you a popsicle. It'll be fine. Okay, so we need to go... to a secret- is it here? Old Watermill. No, I don't need to go there. I need to head over to... I'm guessing it's- What are you doing? What are you doing, you secretive, secretive punk? The cashier! You're supposed to be enjoying things. Maybe it's the other side. Yes, it is! <gasps> what's this? A spade? Oh my goodness, what's going on? Do I pick this up? Or... Oh, something weird is going down. Oh! It's these two. I don't think this is going to go well, guys. This is going to be a little bit awkward, isn't it? Lily? Melissa? What is going on? You wanted to know how that journal belonged to? It was mine! Melissa, you lied to me. Why would you lie to me like that? Okay, what is going down here? This is awkward. Um, I'm tired of my snobby parents in this stupid place. The only way to leave without being noticed is here on this day. Oh my goodness. Melissa, you don't have to do this. So Lily is the one in red over here. This is the only way. That's why we can't be friends. You just don't understand. I'm better off elsewhere. Oh my goodness. Um, what? I have a choice? Oh! I didn't expect this. I did not expect it. The color shows whose side you choose. One is Lily's, two is neutral, and three is Melissa's. Of course, this will affect the story. What? Okay, this has gone a little bit Walking Dead on me. Um, a little bit story mode as well. Um, so choice one, you side with Lily and say, if you're coming back with us to the parade, you have to try to make things work. You can't just run when things get difficult. Choice two is neutral. There's nothing we can do. If we stop you now, I know you'll just find another way. I hope you make the right decision. Come on, Lily. Let's get back to the parade. Choice three is Melissa's. Perhaps you should get some time away from your family to let off some of the heat. You could probably stay at my parents' house if needed. This is kind of tricky. I don't know which one to choose. Um, who do we say? We don't really know uh, all these characters too well. Um, I don't really have a favorite out of the two. Oh, I'm just going to pick one. Um, what's the neutral one? There's nothing we can do. Let's get back to the parade. Um, you're coming back with us to the parade. You have to try to make things work. You can't just run when things get difficult. I think that's good advice. So I'm going to do this one. Oh, jeez. Uh, you're coming back with it. Okay, I've just said exactly the same thing. Thanks. I knew you would take my side. No, Lily. I'm trying to be fair. Okay. Um, ah, this is just like last year. I thought you would understand. Oh, jeez. No, no. What's happening? Oh, jeez. I don't like this. Um, I guess she had a backup plan. There's no telling how far she is now. Oh, my goodness. There's a journal as well. She always was stubborn. I just hope she'll be safe. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what does this say? Uh, happy Valentine's Day, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see another outcome, click the choice listed below. So what does this say? I can't help but feel responsible for Melissa's decision to leave. I shouldn't have forced that on her. I'm leaving this place as soon as possible. I can't stand to stay here much longer. The guilt is weighing me down. I may search for her in the city. Is that my journal or hers? I'm not too sure, but she's gone. She has gone. Right, let's see what the other outcomes were. So we chose one. Let's try choice two. Okay, so this is where we don't choose any sides and see what happens. What? We can't just leave her here. She'll leave for sure. Thanks, I guess. Come on, Lily. We have to let her decide. Fine. Oh my goodness. Fine. I guess she really did leave. At least she made the choice to do so. 
Uh, okay, so where are we? <laughs> oh, we're eating ice cream. So what does this journal say? Ever since the event of Valentine's Day, I've gotten closer to Lily. She still feels that it was our fault that Melissa left, but I think she's starting to move on. I decided to stay here for a while longer. Perhaps I haven't given up her hope of return. Okay, so that was probably a better choice, but then we go choice three and see what happens when we encourage her to leave. It says that's an understatement. That seems fine as long as your parents know where you are. I'm sure that would be fine with it too. I guess you could say that you're taking a vacation without a set length. Thanks so much for letting me stay. I think it was a little bit harsh with my parents. I, it's nothing really. I understand how you can sometimes get upset with your family. I know it's a bit late, but... But... Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Will you be my valentine? Oh my goodness, that was the best one so far. Oh, I should have chosen that all along. Melissa's our valentine now. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. You know what? This map was really, really impressive. Even though it was Valentine's themed and we're kind of a little bit past Valentine's Day by about three weeks, it was still really, really cool. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope there wasn't too much reading for you. I really hope you did. If you did, please do a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to try out this map for yourself because there's different choices and different um, Easter eggs and stuff to find, then I'll leave that in the description below too. Apart from that, thank you so much again for watching. If this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TV today for daily gameplay videos and apart from that thank you again so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>